Hello everybody and welcome back. This is the Phoenix on the Carpet episode 7, entitled The Hole in the Carpet. Hello everybody, I'm Wolf and I watch classic kids TV shows, movies and queer media. Not all together at the same time though. So this is called The Hole in the Carpet. Hopefully they will deal with the hole in the carpet and actually make a wish to get it repaired or go and visit where it got made which would be even more interesting. Yep, so like and subscribe. Follow me on these platforms that I had up a minute ago, like Twitter and things like that. I'll start using them. And let's get straight on with the episode. <laughs> It's extra bright just now, the sun's going down, but by the end of the episode, uh, I'll be back to normal lighting. She took the carpet from its ivory chest. Our carpet? That one? Of course, and she wished herself as far away as possible. And where so do they be going to visit that world? place? Where, where did the carpet take her? If the other two would we stop chattering for a moment. We shall use the carpet ourselves, shall we? Not well there. Yeah. Oh, Bob! You should be glad to see <coughs> it. Come on, Phoenix. Oh, it's in a half now. Look what you did. I'd like to go somewhere where we could find a nice present to give to Mother. And everyone will want to know where we got it. I wish that you would take us somewhere so that we can get some money for Mother's present in some way that she'll believe in and not think it wrong. So you're going to fall through the hole of the carpet one day? I'm sitting on the bit you done, Papa. I feel it's sort of giving way. Oh, Jane! Jane, I can't oh. Oh. oh, no! Hey, don't go! Don't leave us! Come back! Hey, Shout for help! Someone will get you down! He's a good brother, Hammond, eh? Don't worry. Somebody will get them off the roof. One, two, three... Breaking and entering. People are going to think it awfully odd seeing a carpet in the street. Never did that before, which is really handy. Locked. Jane, it's locked. No, what are they going to do? Hello, Anthea. Sue, imagine running into you two like this. I am surprised. Here, divide this by four and spend it however you like. Golden sovereign. Oh, aunts, is something the matter? Indeed, there is. Do you intend to print this in the parish magazine? That was a coincidence. I have been privileged to see wondrous visions. Oh yes, indeed, and so I was. Oh, here we go. Translated to a tropical island, called upon to marry. A king and queen? What on earth put all that nonsense into your head? Septimus. But of course it's true, otherwise I'd never have written it. What kind of name is that? Sorry if you're called Septimus. I really am sorry you're called Septimus. I tell you, it was a magic carpet. Oh, goodness gracious. We shall have burglars. Quick, run out now, a chance. Run out, now's your chance. What are they doing? Oh! 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 It's alright, we shan't hurt you. Thieves! Villains! Oh, I think Villains! Stupid cow. They appear to be children. Oh, very likely. Sent up on the roof to distract our attention. It's a right old cow. I expect the rest oh, of the gang are downstairs now, making off with the silver. Oh, oh. And search downstairs. But do yes, good care. one. And the send for the police. Poker. It's been opened. It's empty. Oh, let me go! Stop that! Oh, yes, no! Oh, I got you! <laughs> no, stop snivelling, child. It's too late for that. We're not... Such a horrible woman. We must get it finished so that we can go and rescue them. You're fond of Robert, aren't you? Mm, I cannot say that I am fond of anyone. Except yourself. But I cannot bear to think that he might come to harm. The suspense is too much for me. Pray open the window. The window? So that I may go to him and offer what puny aid I can. We have caught these two. There, Bobs. What did I tell you? It's Mr. Septimus. Mr. Septimus Blenkinsop. <laughs> you? We were travelling on the carpet and we fell onto your roof. 
You remember the carpet, don't you? The, the carpet? Septimus. <laughs> he married our friend the burglar to our Jane, to our cook. Your friend a burglar? Oh, no, no, I entered that myself this morning. Have you sent for the police? Well, send for them at once. No. Oh, my God. It's actually grew up there. From now on, I'll decide what to do around here. You'll decide? Oh, Septimus. I met them in my vision. Such you a see. bad actor. I'm not seeing a vision now, am I? If only you could see for yourselves. Yes, if only you could see these Robert visions. Robert! Jane! That was good acting. Oh, friends. wouldn't it be funny? This is the Reverend Septimus That Prince Reverend wrote, wrote a book this called The Phoenix and the Carpet. The that would be... Phoenix. Take it away. Take that dreadful bird away. Dreadful bird? <laughs> Who are these ill-begotten crones? <laughs> crones? You must my arm. Back, you misguided females. <laughs> Not seen a word. Oh. Oh. The wee bit bad is it in there? Oh. Oh, why, it's the other two children. Oh, how very nice to see you again. Cyril, it's Mr. Blenkinsop. I say, fancy this being your house. Mm. Bye, Mr. Blenkinsop. What's up with the phoenix? It's not been done that much this season. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. May I close the window for you? Uh, no, thank you. I prefer to have it open. Oh, and by the way, I shall not be wearing my waistcoat today. Very well. Whatever you prefer. Yes, on second thoughts, it might be best. Oh, you could have turned that in there, book. What's this? We bought these things for you. Coming home presents. I, I got you a silk handkerchief. I chose these candles. I really don't know what to say. You make me so very happy. Such a lovely homecoming. About them children. Ah, oh, yes. And them Perhaps children. Perhaps it is a good idea not to tell. It's the way they keep coming and going. Oh, well, one minute they're here, the next minute they're not. Why do they take the carpet with them? I love my little baby sneak. She wriggles when he is awake. He creeps with such a wriggly creep. He even wriggles in his sleep. You must have a serious talk with him when he wakes. Did the baby make a wish? Only there was some way to repair it. So as no one Anywhere, anywhere in the world. This will be a quick exit because my battery is running low. Flash, flash, flash. So that was the Phoenix in the Carpet, episode 7. Now there's only one episode left. So that was funny with the baby made the wish at the end, I wasn't expecting that and those maids overacting but funny and yeah so it was a good episode that overall probably the best one of the season which is strange I hope the next episode is the best one to end it all off but I don't know because it was cancelled hey eh? so like